Well, let's return now to the Syrian conflict and the worsening humanitarian situation in the besieged city of Aleppo. Today it's been reported that at least 13 children died when barrel bombs were dropped on the city, apparently by government forces. Well, Abdul Aziz Al-Mashi is the co-founder of the Syria Solidarity Campaign and a refugee himself. He joins us now from our central London studio. Very good evening to you. Um, so barrel bombs, these unguided explosives once again being used in Syria, uh, killing children, a uh, one toddler and one infant included, we're told. Um, do you despair when you hear uh, episodes like this in this continuing conflict? Absolutely. We have been calling for the international community to protect civilians in Syria. And we have said it so many times, the first overwhelming majority of the victims in Syria actually have been killed by barrel bombs, by unguided bombs. Uh, Assad has been using barrel bombs to target uh, hospitals, target uh, busy markets and residential areas. So many people have been killed and the international community has done absolutely nothing to stop him from using unguided bombs, which is prohibited by the, by the international law. Uh, and confirmation also from the United Nations last night that President Assad had been using chemical weapons against his own people, including industrial chlorine was one they focused on, despite signing an international treaty, long suspected, of course. Well, this is, this is actually not something new. Assad has been using chemical weapons since 2013. In, in 21st of August 2013, he killed 1,477 civilians in Kota. And then he signed the uh, uh, Chemical Weapon Convention in September 2013. The international community reached an agreement between the Russians and the Americans to take away uh, Assad's stockpile of chemicals. But we can see it now. He just like last week used chemicals in Saraqib in Idlib and in Aleppo. So basically this is not something new. Assad has been using chemical weapons uh, like repeatedly since 2013. The international community know about it, but they are doing absolutely nothing again to stop him. Well, the U.S. Secretary of State has just landed in Geneva for talks with his Russian counterpart. But this is a really complex fight now. For example, the Turks are bombing the Kurds in Manbij. The Kurds are backed by the Americans, uh, who have spent uh, the, the Kurds have spent the last week, or weeks rather, taking Manbij from Islamic State, who everyone is fighting. How do you expect the West to intervene in a fight that is now so complicated on the ground? Well, I don't think the situation in Syria is so complicated. We are calling for the protection of, civ uh, of civilians. We want to have a united Syria, and the international community are using the current situation just to justify their lack of action in, in Syria. If the international community took their responsibility back in 2011 to stop a tyrant from, uh, from killing his own people on a daily basis, we wouldn't have reached the point where we have uh, ISIS and, and the Kurds and uh, intervention from the Russians, the Iranians, Hezbollah, and, 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 and the Turks. What we, call, what we want from the international community, we say to them, please leave us alone. All of you get out of Syria. The Russians, the Americans, the British, the French, the Turks, all of you get away from out from Syria and let us deal with it. Assad absolutely has no future in Syria. The international community has been playing a very negative role to sort out the, uh, uh, the, the, the conflict. We don't have any uh, optimism. We, we are not optimistic with the political solutions because we had Kofi Annan failed. We had al akhdar al-Brahimi uh, failed. We had now uh, Stephen Di Mistura. He is going to fail. We had Geneva 1. We had Geneva 2. We had, now we are going to Geneva the three and like th this is not just stopping the the bloodshed in Syria like people are suffering on daily basis in Aleppo it is absolutely a tragedy and and history is being written now I mean those permanent member of the UN Security Council like the Russians the Americans the British and the French who are actually involved there and they are all seeing like the Americans and the British for example seeing Assad and the Russians targeting hospitals and they are not stopping them to do that which means they are are part of it when they see uh, Assad using chemicals and they are not stopping them then they are part of it uh, unfortunately the international community has failed in Syria I'm sorry to, uh, to bring you to a halt there. Apologies. Abdulaziz Al-Mashi, thank you very much, co-founder of the Syria Solidarity Campaign. Thank you.